We're back, my friends, back into the farm. The only farm in Hagenstad, which is ours. Rightfully so. Uh, what we have is the big tipper now, but we'll be using the small tipper. We failed last mission, I know that's a bit embarrassing. But gonna have to deal with it, unfortunately. So, we can go ahead and use this small tipper to work with this harvester. Unfortunately, the, hi the hide worker works at a slower rate than even cruise control one on the Kramer. So we can't, like, it would be absolutely amazing if we could drive at the same speed and just continually fill up the tipper, just riding alongside him. Come on, go cruise control. She may, yeah, well actually no, he's driving a bit faster actually, sorry. I'll say I'll work out. Yes, you did not deliver the goods in time, unfortunately. I know, I failed. We crashed out. Uh, we still have speed at 120 times, which is great. So hopefully this canola grows out quick. It should. Supposedly it takes, I think, 24 hours, someone said in the comments section, to for the canola to grow. And so they uh, alt-tab the game, because the game keeps running if you alt-tab it. And... Uh, they just watch a YouTube video for 12 minutes and then uh, they go ahead and continue on with the crop, which is quite good. Unfortunately, bit doing a Let's Play and uh, I really can't do that. Or a walkthrough, whatever you want to call it. I really cannot do that. And obviously you have to play a little bit differently than you would normally doing a Let's Play because we want to go ahead and ex have the full experience with all the different vehicles. The canola doesn't seem to want to grow. Which is greatly unfortunate. Um, still don't have enough money to buy that other field, but we'll soon because we'll be getting a new mission. You're 79% filled. So let's go back into our small tipper. There we go. Sorry, I know I'm in your way, but and you can't really do anything. There's not much you can do. Thank you for that. I will try to make my way out of here. Um, yes, I do want to accept this mission, but firstly, we'll go ahead and get this cultivator, and we'll also need to slow down time, and actually it would help if you were watching where we were driving, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start cultivating because it does take its damn time, and also we'll hire this worker just to do this little section. Okay, so I'll get this cultivator to work a bit on this grass, even though it's not going to be completely efficient. He'll be able to go ahead and get this, uh, the whole section done, because last time I think we missed a bit of the side. So at least this time we get the whole field, which will be a help. Uh, now, the cultivator. I'll go ahead and get you to, to start out from here. Okay, that should work out well. What was the mission? It was a grass cutting mission. Okay, it's up there. So yeah, there's two spots that you cut the grass and they want us to go back and forth. So actually we could exploit that and by the time, like when we finish this next mission, we should go back here. I think that's a good idea. So also the uh, golf pins, or the flags or whatever you want to call them, are the Scarecrows of the 2013 version. They're impenetrable. You can't do anything to them. They're rock hard. You can't do a thing. I like that scarecrow that just stood in the middle of the field that you couldn't... Actually, I think you could budget, actually. 
I think I actually ra rammed into it one time and it actually fell over, I think. But could withstand pretty much anything that a, any tractor could give it. Almost. And hopefully you guys can still hear me because I'm... What I'm doing is I'm lowering the, the game audio because the game audio is really weird. Because when you're out of your tractor, you hear nothing, like absolutely nothing. You just hear a little bit of ambient sound, like a bit of birds or sometimes there's an aeroplane flying up above in the sound, but uh, there's no actual aeroplanes in the sky, which is a bit weird. Uh, but yeah, I am having to lower the sound by quite a little bit. That's just because, um, oh, the in-game sound is extremely loud my voice doesn't really come through if I leave just the in-game sound as it is. So I have to edit it just a little bit in post-production so you guys can still hear me. But there's some tractors that are really loud so hopefully you can always hear me clearly and perfectly. I know that my microphone isn't the best as well. I am using a PX21 if anyone's interested which is a gaming headset. But I only don't use it for gaming, I just use it to record. But, uh, I'm, really need to invest in a better microphone but it's just that the way I sit on my desk my desk is really weird like because I use dual monitors I just sit really weirdly it's probably not good for my back you know? well I know it's not good probably not the best for my back but I don't know hopefully I will go ahead and invest in a better desk because my desk right now it's it's one of those like really simple desks and it's got drawers on drawers on one side and uh, because I use dual monitors and I use a massive TV screen as my main monitor, it's like pretty much where the drawers are, so I can't like scoot under the desk. You know, if you understand what I mean, you probably don't because I'm really bad at explaining while I'm playing this game. But there we go, mission complete, and that was over 10 grand, so I'm not gonna complain. I think we actually have might enough, might have enough money to go ahead and invest in some um, fields. Okay, you're almost all done, so let's go ahead back to our small tip-up. Yeah, so it's pretty good with the uh, canola crop. What we're going to do is, with the canola grains, we're going to wait up, wait it out until we get a great demand, because that will pay off so well. So well, it's not even remotely funny. Okay, he's going to be coming it around for a return trip, so let's go on the other side. Bit of dead canola there as well. Yeah, they drive at two different speeds. Like you can't do cruise control level two and they both drive at cruise control level two because cruise control level two is different for every vehicle. Is he actually harvesting? I was gonna say. I'm not hiring you to harvest nothing. Oh, that's good. So you're gonna finish the rest of this off. Okay. Um, now, you should probably go ahead and start seeding. So we'll use a different seed other than this canola. Uh, actually, what I should do is buy a better seeder. Hmm. Because we invest, actually, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> With this, once you've filled up your cedar, all you have to do is uh, just go over here. You don't actually need to fill it up with a new crop, you just need to change it. What's this? Oh, handicap. Oh, badly made spot. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another mode mission. Oh, wow, it's in the exact same spot as well. Well, wouldn't you fancy that? So, I guess our idea, our plan of uh, cheating a little bit of uh, expecting missions to be somewhere doesn't hold true which I'm not really bothered by because it's really going to help us out now so the soil that I'm looking at I think it costs $60,000 so it's a bit of an expense right there oh, this will be done pretty quick also be getting the extra money so Clean. 
Yeah, and make sure you do not get the Amazon Popper Hopper or whatever it's called. It is atrocious. It just goes so slow. It can barely carry any. I think it can only carry like 100, 350 liters or tons or whatever you want to call it. So it would be liters of grass inside it. So it's really a waste of money, to be honest. At least in my opinion. Using machines like getting a forage wagon will be so much more efficient than using this machine as well. The Pottinger, whatever it's called, the Eurocat. I think it's actually called the Eurocat. 315 or something. From memory, it's been a little while since we bought it. About 42 minutes because we are recording this uh, in sessions. Which is why like, I might be taking a little time to take all your considerations into effect because I am playing this pre-recorded because you guys want to see a lot of episodes and I am addicted to this so it's a win-win I guess but we also do take a little while to take considerations in but all in all I'm sure most of you are pretty happy and content with the rate of upload speed should be able to finish this very soon Hopefully we don't want to make a round trip again. Go. It's another 10 grand, simply like that. Okay. You're all done. Really? You've got 100%. Canola. I remember when this canola line was still growing. Grow out really quick. Okay, this guy's working hard. Hopefully not too hard. Uh, right, I thought you stopped. Okay, you're going to have to stop next row. I need to get the seed up. Tell him to drive over to the seed spot so we can get and change crop. Probably to wheat. We'll get wheat and um, on the other field we'll get barley. Yeah, we'll get barley. See, but they grow a lot more dense, which is nice. Maybe should we invest in some potato growing stuff? Maybe we should invest in that. Alright. Why am I driving over here? I'm not thinking straight. Oh, but I also want to get the uh, the field 14. So many decisions. Alright, so. All we have to do is just press O to select field. Select seed. So we're going with wheat, and now we've got 249 tons, or whatever, 249 units of wheat crop or wheat seed, which is pretty amusing because we shouldn't really have that. We have to like refill it, you'd think. But it doesn't really work like that in the game. Oh, what's happening over here? Oh, 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 Thankfully, you didn't actually drive over the uh, oh, okay, that's where it is. You stop. Um, you know what? No, let's deny that. Okay, so what exactly are we trying to do here? What are we trying to accomplish? I'm just going around in circles. I need to get this seed up to start working. That's what I need. Because he's going to take his damn sweet time. That's perfectly aligned. It's up. Seems like it. Oh, we're missing a little bit. Because he, mi yeah. What I've noticed is with this seeder, the last two on the right, they don't actually seed. But in the last two on this, they actually do seed. So it's really weird. I think that might be a little bug in the game. I'm not sure if you guys actually see that. But it's not seeding on the last, on the right bit. I'm not exactly sure why. But, oh well. We're going to miss out on a bit of that cultivated field that we cultivated specifically to make best use of it. Uh, so right now we need to go back to the harvester, which is over here. Turn it on. Start going. We'll go ahead and do this little area because that's what we need to do. Okay. So I can rehire that worker again that's cultivating. Ok, 
Okay, should be just about done. Just probably one more go. Well, that's harvested. No, I don't want to do that. Fizzled out. I like the names of these missions. At least they're not just generic mission one, mission two, mission three. Okay, we should go straight ahead and cultivate this. Yeah, we don't really have that much canola anyway to play around with. I know I'm driving way too fast, but it's not bothering me. Try this one. This worker should get hired as well. Our cedar or so is going extremely slowly, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We won't fertilize just yet. We'll go back to the cultivator. Thank you for stop being hired. When you hire workers, uh, supposedly, they don't take up any petrol price. Like, they don't, they don't take your fuel up, sorry. Not petrol prices. So that's also quite handy, as well as, I don't think they u up, actually use up your seed. Or well, they use it up very slowly, I think, is was what someone was saying. So that's quite useful, hiring people. But we'll keep doing this manually, because we don't need to keep on hiring people, because you got to think of the cost to benefit. Beautiful, we're getting everything. So I guess after this little go, it's full speed ahead until we get to that little square. And then this field's all done. That's pretty good. We're at $111,000, so... I'm not going to buy that field yet, because we're not going to be able to do anything with it. But we'll be able to get ahead and play around with it soon. Very soon. No, stop giving me pallet fork missions. Just gonna go ahead and finish this up. Although we're gonna have to probably accept one of them soon because I really do want more money to invest in much better tools. Don't we all though? Ah, we're gonna be stopped. Oh well. Okay, that's pretty much all done. Quite happy with that. So let's just go drive over to that tip up ourselves. Turn this off. So hopefully we'll be able to drive a little bit faster. Put out our pipe, which is oh. Speed up time actually. 120 times. And what I should do as well is go to the chicken coop, chicken eggs, and get it, the chicken egg, sorry. I was think we've got actually a fair few already. Should give us a little money, we're carrying 24. Well, there's not that much, because I guess we weren't playing at super ultra fast speed all that time, but there's a few. We could invest in a lot more chickens as well, so we can get a lot more eggs. After all, chickens don't really cost that much. If there's anything hiding on the side, there was one. There's another one over there. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I think that was one that we missed out on, but we'll keep it as it is. It's daytime now. Really, I think we have to do like a power fork mission. If they don't change it up, oh, that sucks. Uh, let's actually go to the fertilizer. Because the fertilizer doesn't actually weigh that much now, like it's not as bad driving it. Because once it was 100% filled up, that was pretty atrocious. But I think that should be pretty good. Should cover everything. Yep, that's pretty sweet. But we're driving a bit to the right, which is also nice. We can cover everything there. We 
doesn't drive any faster. Doesn't be able to work out, it should. Thank you. Okay, our cultivator, let's see what he's doing. You're going quite nicely. So we're still playing at 120 times speed, but watch this. It, the wheat will grow out perfectly. I promise you that much. I promise you the wheat will grow out perfectly. Um, the, the cow is taking its damn sweet time, and the cultivator, no! <gasps> you bastard. Not much we can do about that line, but <laughs> let's just unhire him. What a bastard. Oh, it wasn't that much anyway. Actually, what we could do in the meantime, while we're still waiting, is go back to the small tipper, which is here, and just deliver that back to the silo. So we'll have a bad sort of... What's this? Who really worries? Alright, well, that's eight and a half grand. Let's just wait it out. Let's wait till we get a 11 grand mission. Because I know they're out there. It's not like there's too much of a difference in difficulty. Apart from maybe the time. I think the time might be the only little indicator of it. So hopefully our big tipper... See, they're pretty much just stagnant. They're not doing anything, but... We'll leave it as it is. We probably could make good use of that tractor. I'll need to think up of something, but right now we'll just leave them as they are. Still waiting for some great demands. Particularly for canola. But yeah, next thing that we'll buy is that big field as well as a big sower, like a good proper one. Okay, so that's doing that, which is nice. Finally, finally, and things are growing properly now, which is great. It's freaking fantastic. So this is growing normally. It's just the canola that is so damn weird. I just don't understand it one bit. But this is it growing how I'd expect it to grow. I wonder if the seed is actually going to go over the bits that's already growing. I don't think it will. I should actually slow things down a little bit. Press H to hire this worker. You love how you've got to love how they straighten themselves out. Okay, how's the cedar going? He's going over in his own spot, but it's okay. Okay, well, let's see if we can get out of this tight angle. Yes, actually, let's do that. That will be cut some stuff. Just cut some grass, to be honest. Oh, it's right over here. What the hell is with all this? Like. Over here. Just this section of the golf course is just growing. Put too much fertilizer over here or something. But this is really easy money. Like ridiculously easy. So, uh, for this episode, tell me in the comment section if you want to um, see me harvest like all the fields or if you want me to cut little sections out that might be a little bit too boring because I'm not exactly sure if anything is boring to you guys or what most of you think. I'm just really interested to think, see if uh, sowing the massive fields are going to be boring or what you, you're feeling because I want to make this entertaining obviously want you guys to enjoy this half as much as I am because I am really enjoying it. We still haven't really bought anything major but I probably will now. Probably buy that field. But I just want to complete this mission really quickly so I get the extra money. Then we'll go back and we'll see what I want to do and start planning for next episode.
his grass mowers are so fun though. He just cuts through the grass and it's so quickly and so smoothly. You've got nothing to worry about. Just like a hot knife through butter. Hopefully it'll be mission complete any moment now. There we go. Got a nice time bonus as well. Okay. So what exactly is happening? Okay, I don't want you to work. I want you to go ahead and... I'll actually manually work you. Actually, we don't need this to be on just now. Look at those spikes. God damn. I would not want to run into that. Okay, let's put on our cruise control. So we're at perfect speed and... Off we go. We will need to make a round trip back up again. Yep, oh well. Okay, so that guy's doing quite well, the seed up. Still, the cultivator's taking his sweet time. And off we go, rainbow style, turn that off fix this little box so we can get the cultivator working again then we'll fertilize everything hands out we'll go ahead and buy the field next episode i promise you that much i promise you that we'll go ahead and buy the field next episode but right now we've got more pressing issues so I'm just doing this okay just hire a worker there. Go to you, Miss H. Oh, you're not gonna turn around, okay. You're not that smart yet. Uh, yes, I will accept that mission, thank you. Over here again. What is my luck? What are the chances of that? Okay. We've got seven minutes for this? Why so long? It's exactly the same amount as like every other time, and I don't think we have seven minutes before. Or six and a half. Not exactly what, sure what that's about. But I'm not going to say to easy money. Especially when it's not a challenge. <laughs> oh, this is so easy. Alright, so next episode will be a lot more entertaining, I promise you. We will have that field, so we would have already finished like fields 15 and 16, doing like the, all the cultivating and all the sowing, well we will, and then we'll be able to go ahead and uh, hopefully have enough money to, well we'll have enough money to buy field 14, yeah the big one, where we will be able to start cultivating that but hopefully with all the side missions I'll also be able to buy a really good sower which I think cost $68,000 so we'll need about $168,000 which isn't going to be too hard with special with these missions that we're getting just wait it out until we finish this So, let's go to you. No, I want a cultivator. There we go. Pyro working now. Let's go back to the harvester. Turn it on. So 
Sorry, sorry. Okay. Driving a bit too fast, you missed that. Yes, we did. Alright. So let's go over to. Well, we're going to have to bring the small tipper towards us. Alright. So, what we're going to do first thing next episode is go ahead and buy that field. That should be pretty sweet. Also, we'll go ahead and fertilize the rest of this field, stick out our pipe, turn off the, the actual harvester. This guy's working hard, let's just get out in his way. Let's bring about our small tip-up, who is over here. Gonna have to do that sharp turn. Hopefully nothing too bad happens. We still haven't hit this little information spot. Oh, we still haven't. I, I know exactly what it's going to say. It's like, here you can store your crops. It is a silo. Yeah, you have four silos. You have wheat, barley, canola, and corn, which we have not even used yet because... See, one of the... Oh, no, I didn't accept that. One of the problems was, in 2011, they did give us a corn field as well as a corn harvester. In this game, nothing like that. Nothing. They just give us one pansy little field. We have to start our empire off that. It's a lot, lot harder. Even though we'll play, say, if I was playing this on hard, this would not be entertaining at all. It would just be grinding and grinding and grinding and grinding. Nobody wants to see that. So, here are the last remnants of the canola. See how the other workers are going. You are doing quite well. So, is our seed up. I slow down time to five times now, just so the crops can know, grow a little slower. Okay, so let's go to the small tipper, deliver this, see how much canola we have, so we can go ahead and uh, give it all away with the great demand, hopefully very shortly. How much is it actually selling for? I'm just going to wait it out until we get to get a great demand. But where else is it selling really well? Ooh, 2500 at the end. Nice, that is a good price. That is a really good price. And how much exactly do we have? I think that's going to be in statistics over here. We are going to have just under 20,000 tons. Or liters, sorry. Or liters, no, is it? It would be liters cubed, wouldn't it? Sure would. Let's go ahead and deliver that little bit. And off we go yet again. Although now, there we go, finally hit that. How many eggs do we have? You know what, let's just make this episode a little bit longer. Wool worries, no, I don't care. Let's go ahead and get our eggs. Let's go to statistics first. We're carrying 29 eggs. Anything hiding behind? Nope. Oh, there is. I'm pretty sure that's good enough for the time being, at least. Don't seem like there's any eggs popping up anytime soon. And let's get out of here before the chickens start annoying us. Um, I wonder how much that field's going to cost, uh, but let's not wonder too much. This is going really well. So now would probably be high time to go ahead and actually invest in that. But I think you can't, it's not good to fertilize before you've even cultivated. It's, yeah, it's probably not a good, good idea to do that. Uh, so let's keep on waiting it out. Uh, probably should speed time just up a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. We've been playing this session for one hour so far. We've played four hours of the uh, game in total of the career mode. It's quite good. Four hours of gameplay for you guys. 
who could be complaining? The wheat doesn't seem to be growing as quickly, but it'll grow perfectly. It won't grow in squares like the canola does, which is so annoying. But with that, we'll have to end the episode. Uh, next episode, I promise you, will be a big one. And actually, now that we're out of here, just, you know, let's just run away from all the sound. We go to the shop. This is what we're going to be investing in. Let's have a quick look. So, oh, mobile fuel tax. That's kind of cool. Uh, all right. Well, that's pretty much a waste of money. We're not going to be getting better tractors. We're not going to get front loaders. We're not going to get harvesters. But what we might get is this. This is a nice width, 3.25. Uh, working width, one row. That's interesting. One row. Uh, does it say how much rows it's got? Oh, okay. So I guess this is just the front, and then you need to add that. Or so no, no, I don't think so. Harvesting potatoes requires topper beforehand. What's a topper? I'm not exactly sure. We'll have to find it out. Topping before potato harvest. If harvesting is done with Grimmy. Oh my god. So many things to worry about. Oh, so this is the top. Ah, oh, so you need to top it before. So instead of cultivating, I guess you need to top it then. Maybe that's what we need to do. Beet harvesting. Defoliating before sugar beet harvest. If harvesting is done with Grimmy root stuff. Oh, so many things we need to learn. So unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to go ahead and do plant this. With safety rules. Okay. Um, hmm. But this is the sewing machine that we are aiming for. This one with six meters. Uh, working with. It seems to be pretty good. Um, because these ones have like sewing maize or sugar beets. That's what they get grow. So, yeah, that's what we should use, like to plant, obviously, to sow. So that's good. So, sewing of wheats, barley, no. Oh, here we can do potatoes with this. Hmm. So, wait. With the potatoes. This is how we get them. This is how we get the potatoes out of the ground. Oh, wow. It's going to take us a damn long time to get all that money. All right, well. Oh, that's a good mission. But we'll have to end this right about now. We'll be back very shortly with some more money, more of everything. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this series, and we'll be back.